What's up guys, in today's Shopify appointment tutorial we are going to go over everything needed to know to successfully set up appointments for your Shopify store. So if you for example are a fitness trainer and if you are giving out lessons then you can easily implement the app which I will show you today to basically just allow potential customers to book a certain time with you. However, this is basically going to work for all sorts of other use cases out there as well. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started, head over to the Shopify dashboard. I will also leave you a link down below if you don't already have a Shopify store. With that link, you can get a free trial. Either way, once we are right here, head over to the settings on the bottom left and then select apps and sales channels. Now, usually I'm not a big fan of actually adding a lot of apps onto a Shopify store because this can actually lower the overall loading speed of your store. However, in this case, I've actually researched a bit and I found an app which actually is super lightweight, meaning that this isn't actually going to influence the loading speed at all. So just open up the Shopify app store right here and then look for appointment. Okay, so basically right here, you're then going to get about a hundred apps, which more or less do the same exact thing. Now, it is important to notice that some of these are actually going to be paid, um, where you basically will have to pay for um, more bookings. However, the app that I would recommend you to use and the one that we are going to use for today's video is Meaty. And as far as I'm concerned, this is actually completely free to use. So actually you can view all of the pricing options right here. And as you can see, currently Meaty is actually offering its app for completely free and with that being said i think even then this is definitely the best looking uh, appointment app out there so as you can see this is going to be a preview on how this is going to look like and i will show you how to implement this onto your store so to get started just install this right here and then hit the install button right here. So this is then actually going to grant Meaty all of the access that they need to successfully basically install onto the dashboard. So I will actually pin it right here onto the navigation. And now we will have to actually get started. You can see that with Meaty, you can automate your email notifications, customize the booking widget, and you're also going to get insights as well as a 24 seven chat support for completely free, which is super mind blowing. So just click and get started right here and then you can see basically an overview of your revenue, total appointments and so on. On the left, you can then see the Meaty app and you can see all of the different sub sections of your app. So let's actually get started. Now to get started, make sure to actually add a product which you want to basically sell as a service. In my case, I've created an example yoga lesson right here, which I'm going to use as for this tutorial. And then once you've did that, open up Meaty again, and then you will have to basically add your first service onto Meaty. Just click on the button right here, and then you will have to click on add services. Then select the actual product which you want to sell on here. Um, I've actually set this at zero bucks. However, you can obviously also make this paid. This is once again, just an example to basically help you guys understand how this is going to work. So right here on the right, you can then see their live chatbot. You don't really need this, just close this for now. And we can then actually also manage this right here. So we can first of all see, okay, the booking type, this can be standard booking. Right now they only do have that option available. However, you can basically change between hour based booking and day based booking. Now as for minimum number of attendees each booking, I'm just going to leave this at, uh, at one because otherwise a person will have to buy for two yoga lessons, which doesn't really make sense. I'm just going to leave this at one for now. As for the time slot settings, right here you can then basically fully customize um, when you do want to take on bookings. So you can, for example, um, set fixed time slots or you can actually also enable custom time slots if you do want to. Like this, you can then add different kind of time slots for the days. So if you, for example, are available every day, you can set that right here. However, you can simply also just select certain days and you can then add the time slots when you are available. In my case, I'm just going to select fixed time slots so these time slots are basically set in consecutive blocks so this, this is just going to be like you can see on the right now i will just leave the duration at one hour and i'm just going to change this to zero minutes the start time increment is going to be 60 minutes so this is just going to be the specific intervals for that start time display of the bookings so if the defined time is one hour we will show the booking time slots every hour so this is going to make sense i'm just going to leave this at one hour 
You can then also set a buffer time and you can actually see, okay, minimum time required prior to booking. Now I'm just going to leave this at, let's say, uh, 120 minutes because otherwise I can't take people on if they are just booking one minute earlier. So I'm just going to say, okay, if you booked two hours ahead, this is going to work fine. You can then actually also select a date range and you can actually change this to within a date range indefinitely into the future. And you can actually also change this to X days in the future. Now, right here on the science staff, you are then going to see all of the different people who are available. Now you can actually change this inside Shopify by adding new staffs, but in my case, I'm just going to leave this uh, at the default with my, myself right here. As for the location, we can add an address, we can add a phone number, or we can add a custom meeting link if this, for example, is online. I'm just going to leave this at none, and we can then actually also enable slot secure if we do want to. And so like this, when a customer makes an appointment without checking out, they will then actually secure the time slot for a certain amount of time to basically avoid double booking. You can set this up if you want to. You can actually also enable custom fields. And like this, you can then create custom fields. So you can, for example, put in what is your preferred way of working out? And then you can uh, basically allow the people to put in a custom value, something like that. And actually you can also use the service calendar color right here to basically change this up depending on your own style. I'm just going to save this for now and let's actually opt out of this. Now we will actually have to enable the meet midget right here. So to actually do this, um, head over to online store. We will basically have to enable this widget so that the appointment thing is going to show up on our store to do this open up the theme editor right here head over to app embeds and then make sure to actually um, basically um, select both of these things right here first of all we do have the meet the extension and then we do also have the meet the floating button which you can actually also create and which you can basically also add if you want to i'm just going to save this for now let's opt out of this and let's actually now preview our store now to actually show our appointment bookings thing right here on the product page, make sure to click on here on the top, click on products, then click on create template. And I'm just going to name this booking products. Okay. And like this, we are basically going to subdivide our products. Um, and we are then going to have two different products available. First of all, the normal products, and then also products which do require bookings. Okay. This is just important to have. Then click on create template. Now I'm going to change the preview to yoga lesson. And once you're on the product page right here, you can see that they've actually automatically updated the buy button to the scheduling thing right here. Uh, this isn't going to work on the preview and um, this is going to work later on. However, if you then do want to add other sections like a meaty button, you can also do that and you can always basically customize this even further. I'm not going to do this right now, rather let's actually just save this. And as you can see now the buy button automatically changed to this schedule your time thing right here. However, if this doesn't show up, this can also happen. Make sure to just click on plus right here, click on apps, and then you will just have to click on meet the button and now this should be added. Make sure to just do this if this doesn't show up by default. Additionally, you can also add a dedicated service button if you do want to. I'm not going to do that. I'm rather going to click on save now. And now the only thing which we will have to do is click on products, select our yoga lesson right here, and then simply change the theme template to the booking products template right here so that this is actually going to show up. If you are now going to view our online store, and if you are now going to click on catalog and access our yoga lesson, and once you've set up everything like I did, this is then going to show up under your product pages. Now, by the way, I currently give out my Shopify Ecom course for completely free. So make sure to access that with the link down below. If you want to, that's it. I will see you in the next one.